Hey everyone, how long do we think these games are going to be able to stay here without falling over? Also, I now have nowhere to put my arms, but that's okay because I want to talk about six different coffee break filler games that I'm really excited about. So this is two different series of games. We've got Hot Lead, Soda Smugglers and Pew Mafiosi, or from Bitewing Games. And we've got Oh My Brain, Magic Rabbit and Peanuts. Is this the right way around? Oh, come on. Peanut Club, <laughs> all from Hachette. So these two different lines of games all kind of have the same ethos behind them, which is really good looking games that are fantastic filler games. In fact, this series is literally called the Coffee Break series. There's a little, is it? It definitely was. I'm almost positive it is. And that's really my wheelhouse. I love filler games more than anything else. Filler, fun, card games, that type of thing. Oh, that's my jam. Not to mention that three of these are designed by Reiner Knizia, which is what got me so excited about them in the first place. The first I want to talk about is Hot Lead. In Hot Lead, what we're doing is we're placing out cards and we're putting them next to cards that are in this row of just cards that we can bid on, essentially. The highest card that you place out will go to the closest to the deck and there's, say, five cards to pick from. But what you're doing is you're trying to make sure that you're working out what everyone else is doing as well because it's a set collection game where you are trying to collect evidence and you, what, you don't want to bust because you want three cards in a set that's great. You score the face value of the set. Also, 10 extra points if you've got three cards of the same color. But if you get a fourth card, all of those cards go away. This is a really fantastic push your luck game in that regard. Soda Smugglers has us smuggling soda. Their soda is now outlawed. Bottle caps are a currency. And in the game, what you're going to do is you're going to take turns being the the border patrol, the kind of guy picking on people, trying to see what they've brought into the country. And they're all gonna have a bribe out and also two suitcases of soda that they might, or not, that they're trying to smuggle through. And there's a few twists in soda smugglers. You're able to stop someone and if they have more soda than they say they've got or meant to have, then you get to take those points because you don't give them to the authorities, you keep them for yourself. You're also allowed to take one of the bribes. Let those soda get into the country. Hopefully the bribe was worth it and the person isn't smuggling too much soda in so they're going to take the lead. This is a, such a stripped back bluffing kind of game and it just works really well. I will play this more than it says it's play in the box so you kind of get the ethos of what's going on in the group but this is a really cool bluffing game. The last one in this series is Pew Mafiosi which is I think quite a good pun. In Pew Mafiosi we are all trying to be really the best we can in this mob family however we don't want to be the best in the mob family because if we're the best we get bumped off. So we're kind of playing a trick of cards and you play your trick out and the second highest card in the trick is going to be able to put their card, which is one of your mafiosi kind of guys, your mafia, mafia guy, mobster. Mobster is the word I'm looking for. You're gonna put your mobster into the family where you think that they belong. And later on in subsequent rounds, they're going to be either bumped down by higher cards and then gain negative points or even bumped off the track in total. You score the amount of points that you kind of like where you end up at the end of the game and you lose points for every step that you've been bumped down. So if you put a like a low card at a high position, the cards go up to 55, that you might score a lot of points with a low card, but you might be bumped down a bunch. And the more you get bumped down, the more you lose, but you don't know where other people are gonna go. The thing that this, these three games have in common is very much that it depends on the group, in the group mentality, the hive mind that you kind of created. What is everybody else going to do? Are they going to try and smuggle soda in? Are they going to take that card or that card? Because if I, I need them to not take that card, how high are they going to play and, and am I going to bust? And on this one, it's... Uh, I want to be the second highest card in this trick. What is that card gonna be? And where should I put it when it goes out? All three are great. 
The next three games we have are Peanut Club, Magic Rabbit and Oh My Brains and these games are slightly more different to each other and they have got different designers and stuff. In Peanut Club we're doing an auction, a crazy crazy wacky auction. There's three different currencies and camels, peanuts and millions of dollars and those currencies are ranked so depending on the rank six million dollars might be beaten by one peanut and you're trying to bid on different cards that are out so that you can get set collection essentially of these little token these like colors that are on the cards but there's also everyone's got five different uh, special powers that are used everyone's got five different special powers so you have to imagine Special powers are popping off all the time and also they get refreshed as, uh, as well at one point in the game So those powers are used that it kind of urges you to use those powers because you want to get the best use out of them by using them twice It's a wacky Really great auction game moving on to magic rabbit, which is kind of like a game in the world of the mind Essentially, we've got this row of top hats underneath each top hat is a rabbit those rabbits and top hats need to match and be in order. And on your turn, you're going to be either looking underneath what's underneath one of the hats, you're going to be swapping different hats or swapping different tiles around and doves get in the way and stop you from being able to move things. You are doing all this in silence and of course, under the strict guidelines of a sand timer. You've got two and a half minutes to do it all. And this is really a game of trying to get into the minds of the other players. Working out, okay, did they just move that because they need me to move it or do they need someone else to oh, all that's there, that should be there. Those type of things. And this offers three different envelopes to open. And if board games love nothing else, it's envelopes to open. That offer different new modules and things to add in that ramp up the difficulty as well if you want. And finally, we have Oh My Brain. That's the game that made me interested in this series. I played this a long time ago and finally got my hands on a copy. Oh My Brain is a shedding card game with a zombie animal feel to it, which I think the artwork is great. But Oh My Brain is a shedding card game. You've got an amount of brains that you don't want to lose, of course. And the person who loses the brain, once one person's lost all their brains, the game ends, the person with the most brains wins. Unlike other shedding card games, in this game you can play a two, then you can play a three, and you can play two fours, that type of thing, that kind of escalation of a shedding card game in that way, but kind of like making bombs, like in teach you. But the extra duplicate cards that go into, that you play out, don't go onto the pile, they go into the other player's cemeteries. And when you're down to three cards, you also have to start taking cards out of your cemetery to get rid of all your cards. You want to get rid of all your cards. So, because again, if you, at the end of a round, if you have a, cards in your hands, means that's how many brains that you're going to lose. So you're trying to play duplicates at the right time to put cards into other people's cemeteries so that you can go out first. There's also special powers on some of the cards that you would expect in a shedding card game, as well as a dice to roll, which adds some Bruno Cathala randomness into the game, which I'm always a big fan of. These games all look wonderful. The production value on all of these is fantastic. All of these boxes have little magnets to keep them closed, those type of details. The artwork is great, the production quality is great. They are fantastic packages, products. They're great. I also think they're all fantastic little filler games. I certainly have my favorites. I would say Hot Lead is probably my favorite out of this one and Oh My Brain is the favorite out of this one. But I would play any of these games as a coffee break, a filler game. This isn't sponsored, nothing like that. I just have these as review copies of games. But I just think, and I was really thinking about this, I was like, man, this kind of shows what's possible and it ups the game for what other companies should be doing. These games have moved with the times, even if these are reprints of older games. And I just think that other companies should be looking at these product lines, and I'm gonna be looking at these product lines moving forward to see what could is possible with a, just a filler game. They're just great. I really like them. Are they for everyone? If you don't like filler games, if you're not a big fan of card games, maybe you won't like these. If you don't like auctions, you probably won't like Peanut Club, but I certainly have liked them a lot. Don't take my word for it, please. If you are interested in any of these games, 
go see what someone else has to say. I know there's a million people with an opinion to share. So I think that you should definitely see what I have to say, but I think these are winners. If you want to buy some board games for yourself and you're living here in Blighty, I'm sorry that you're here. It's awful, but we do have a great board game provider in Kienda, which will be here-ish. Kienda are fantastic. I uh, They support my channel. I get uh, review copy games off them sometimes. Also, they, there's a promo code for you to follow that will give you some money off. And that benefits me as well. So please follow that link if you want to buy some games. I'm a big fan of Kienda, so there you go. Thanks everyone so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.